Hi, this is Hank Gibson from the Aviators Academy, and today we are going to talk about how to do the Garmin database updates on your GPS. First thing you want to do is take out the top SD card that's already in the top slot of the MFD. So we'll take that out. And then you're going to insert the, uh, I like to use two different cards. You can use one and just uh, swap them, but insert the two cards that have the navigation databases on them into the top slots, like so. There we go, so we got those two in. Then you're gonna turn on, and we're in a Cessna 206, but you would do this in any airplane battery and then avionics masters and then you're going to get a couple messages that come up so we're going to hit yes here at the bottom and yes here at the bottom of the mfd and it's going to update the standby navigation database and then after it gets done with that it will update the active navigation database on both screens. This is just the navigation database, which is supposed to be updated monthly. Every other month, you also have to update the safe taxi database, the obstacles database, and the airport directory database. I usually skip the terrain and base map databases because the terrain database is really big and mountains don't really grow. Now, to do those, those go on a different card. See here on the G1000 splash screen on the MFD, all the databases, and the obstacle, safe taxi, and airport directory all are good for another month. Now, if it were November 3rd and we had to update those, you would take the card out of the bottom slot of both the MFD and the PFD that says Garmin on it, and that is what those databases would go on, airport directory, obstacles, and safe taxi. Once all the databases have been updated, turn off your avionics master and your battery master switch, take out the SD cards that you used for the navigation database updates, and put the SD card back in the top MFD slot that you took out to begin with. That logs engine data and is important for maintenance purposes and to figure out what's wrong with my engine. If you're seeing some high CHT temperatures or if you use Savvy, you get them your engine data. And that is how you do the database updates in a Garmin G1000. Anything with two screens, Garmin Perspective, or Garmin G1000 in pretty much any airplane, that is how you accomplish it. A Garmin G1000 NXI or Garmin Perspective Plus in a Cirrus, you only have to do one card and it will uh, move it to all screens. Uh, there's a high-speed data bus that moves it to the different screens and puts all the databases where they're supposed to go. So that is how you accomplish the database update. You can learn more about your avionics panel and mastering that at aviatorsacademy.com.